You're often reckless. And I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. You're smart, I'll admit that. So what I just don't understand is why you're here. I mean, you want to catch your killer, right? Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. You know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Miss White again. My previous interactions with her have gone rather well. All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? Fine. I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. I know, I know. But we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to... He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. At the crooked man's place. Well, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. We can talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know... I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well! Yes! What are you waiting for? You killed Lily! She was my sister! How could what you? do you have to say for Where yourself? the fuck do you get this off? You think you have the right and to just do this Faith? to people? You're a fucking to crook! This. You should fucking be ashamed. Shit hole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The Crooked Man is charged with the murder of As Faith and... As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White, but I thought it would be unwise to proceed with such faulty information. Bigby, is that true? Well, is it? I already took care of Georgie, so drop what it. What do you mean you took care of him? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Sheriff? I killed him. He's dead. He's... what? Dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't change this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. And I was told I, don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. I'm well aware of my rights, Miss White. Unless you plan to abandon the charter entirely. Fine. Go right ahead. Wait. That's not how this works. After the rest of your crimes are read through, then you will have an opportunity to defend yourself. But only then. If you insist. You are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie, 
Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second, like hell you did Stop the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. And there's all the other crap he's done. Everyone just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk? Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The Crooked Man has committed crimes against this government, and most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where ground. it fucking belongs! That's so right. let's get on but with it then. we promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. This is ridiculous. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. 